If you grew up in the 1970s, you probably know all about the disco queen, Donna Summer. And today, you are coming with me on a tour of an abandoned mega mansion once owned by Donna Summer herself, before she passed away in 2012. Stay tuned to hear more. What is up everyone? We are back again for another exploration and today we are at one of the coolest houses we've done all year. This is a 20,000 square foot mega mansion. This place is absolutely huge. This place is actually scheduled to be demolished soon. So we're gonna try to see what is left inside and I wanna show you around the outside first and then get into the whole history behind this place built in 1995 and abandoned in 2022. So not very long ago, this place is massive and it's beautiful. I cannot wait to show you guys. I am with my friends today. I will leave all this stuff down in the description. But without further ado, let's show you around the outside and then let's get into the story behind this mega mansion. Let's go. All right guys, we are at the abandoned mansion right now. Now this place is kind of strange. They uh, built the front and the back to both look like a front. So <laughs> as you can tell, this is just the back of the house but it actually looks like a front of a house too. I actually like the back a little bit better than the front, but you guys will see our, everything as we get along in this video. But I want to take you guys around the outside really quick to show you before we get into the history. We are on over 40 acres of land here. Beautiful trees out there. You got some redbud trees out there. Beautiful flowers. As you can see, everything's blooming. This place is absolutely stunning. Now, when we first walk up to the back door, we see stairs. We see brick stairs, really nice brick staircase. We're gonna go up and be on the back porch here. Now, surprisingly, guys, this house does not have a pool, which is strange. You think you'd see like a massive pool in the back here, but there's not one. But instead, you have a massive mega mansion here. Nice porch. You can tell they probably had some good furniture out here. They got the recessed lighting all throughout. Probably had outdoor entertainment, TVs. Also has pillars out here, and this is a big, giant glass window instead of a door. So they have doors on both sides there. This house is absolutely incredible. All the stonework all around, the brick, just the landscape itself would have been incredible. And it is a beautiful day today. Guys, it is an amazing day today. I am so excited to be here with you guys and be with my friends here. This is a good trip. We've hit some bangers so far and this is the best one yet. I cannot wait to take you guys inside. Now out here too, as you can see, all this vast land, plenty of wildlife that was running around out here. We've already seen some turkeys and whatnot. You got a three car garage there, and this is the whole backside. You can kind of see it a little bit, but this is a massive house. I am not gonna keep you guys out here any longer besides the drone shots. I wanna fly it up and tell you the whole story. So we're gonna jump right into that in just a second. Guys, if you're new, subscribe to this channel. We're going to some crazy places this trip and in the upcoming months. So without further ado, let's hear the history behind this beautiful mega mansion. And I can't wait to take you guys inside. So let's get right into it. In today's exploration, my friends and I are headed to the south to check out a near 20,000 square foot mega mansion worth $8.7 million once owned by popular disco artist Donna Summer, who came out with hit songs like Hot Stuff and She Works Hard for the Money. Donna Summer was known as the disco queen throughout her career and was very well known amongst famous artists, including Michael Jackson. Donna lived in this home until 2012 when she passed away after a battle with lung cancer. In 2013, her family sold the mansion to a race car driver who owned several tracks around the country. But it was the year 2022 when a developer came in and bought the mansion, only to tear it down and build hundreds of cookie cutter houses. So join me today and let's see what's left. All 
All right, guys, we made it inside of the abandoned mega mansion. We heard the story behind it, so crazy. And as you can tell by the looks of this grand foyer, this place is absolutely amazing. 20,000 square feet, $8.7 million. I'm ready to take you guys through this whole place. Now that we heard the story, we've seen um, the outside and everything. Let's take a look at the inside and let's see what this place has to offer. All right, guys, so this is the front door. Check it out. How insane is this front door? This French door is huge, massive ceilings, big skylight up there. This place is too nice to be sitting abandoned like this. And then when we turn around, look at it. This is your grand foyer. You have the herringbone wooden floors right in here and a marvelous chandelier. Wow. Looks like it's made of like brass or something. It goes up to like a dome up there. This is definitely one of the cooler mansions I've seen in a long time. Reminds me of something you see in like Toronto. As you can tell, there's some cool sconces in the wall that matches the chandelier here. All over the place. A couple more there and up there. I want to say this is 30 foot ceilings, maybe 20 foot ceilings. It's pretty high. This is what you see when you first walk into this marvelous house. Goes to a, a great room right there. Living spaces on the sides. One could be a dining room. I think this is a dining room right here. This is probably some sort of living parlor. And it goes around to more rooms, offices over there. We got bedrooms upstairs. And wait till you guys see the kitchen and everything else that this house has to offer. But let's take a look at this staircase. So I want to point out that this thing is super wide. Like this is a massive staircase going all the way up. It makes me wonder if this place has an elevator of some sort. But look at this, I got the iron design all the way up. Goes so well with that chandelier. And it looks like we got two doors here. There's a little coat closet, nothing much. And then right over here, it looks like this is probably just gonna be another, another coat closet, really dirty in that one. And as you can see, all the doors are like arched. Everything, every entryway is like an arched entryway, even this right here. I mean, I know the doors are like rectangular, but the frame itself is arched. Recessed lighting all throughout. And this gray color, I love gray too. Monotone colors is definitely my favorite. This is incredible. So I'm gonna take you right to this room here first. So this was some sort of living area and it's pretty cool. As you can see, there's this nice design on all, all of the walls. The designs on the walls are just absolutely amazing. I can see paintings being hung up on all this to make it really fit well. Some nice sconces right here. Fireplace right here, it looks like it's granite. And I think it's a gas fireplace too. So I wanna say this was maybe one of the, one of the more formal living spaces. I wanna say in the room next door to this little living space is right here. And I'm not sure what this could have been used for. It could have been sort of the same deal. It's got nice windows in here. So this could have been used as like a sunroom. It's all boarded on some of it, which is kind of strange for being not hurt at all. Like th these windows aren't even broken or nothing. Like they just boarded the house for some random reason. It has nice tall flooring in here. There's a big carpet like this in the grand room too. Pretty much in every room, there's like this big brown carpet Kind of fits the vibe of the house. Again, archways over every single entrance. Recessed lighting, got a fan up there. Not sure what this room could have been used for. Maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments what you think, but it's kind of hard to tell when there's not like furniture left in here. And again, I just noticed there's some herringbone flooring in here, so it all kind of matches throughout this. The dining room's straight that way. And this had to have been some sort of like formal living space or maybe even their main living space where they had the TV and stuff, but it doesn't look like it. it looks more like a painting was hanging there and things like that. And now we're gonna go straight over to the dining room. There's a bird nest here, yeah, I can hear it. So in here, more herringbone, really nice wood floors. Sad that this is gonna go to waste. You can see that the, everything's boarded, but nothing is broken, so it's kind of just strange. The wallpaper in here is this like smudgy looking wallpaper, but it looks fancy at the same time. So you can imagine with the chandelier being here, a big dining table is right here, probably a big family. Check out the chandelier. 
That's incredible. These are some big, big crystals too. Like, that's insane. What a beautiful chandelier. Again, has this like design. Was it another room? Really cool dining room, to say the least. Can you imagine what this place would look like if it had all the furniture in it? Now, there still could be furniture left in this house. We haven't gone through the whole thing. I've only seen the kitchen and these two rooms that I've shown you and the foyer. I haven't gone anywhere else in the house. So you guys are gonna be in a surprise just like I am. So I'm so excited to show you guys what else is in here. Maybe we'll find some furniture, but we don't know yet. Let's take a look at the rest of this place. I'm gonna take you guys through these double doors and see what that goes to. I believe it goes to the kitchen because that would make the most sense that this is the dining room. So let's go right through these doors and see what it's like. So when we open the double doors, kind of leads us right in this little space. So you can walk all the way down there, all the way down this way, but we'll take you straight away to the kitchen. But first off, we're gonna come to a big pantry here. Imagine how many cereals you could put in here, snacks, all that kind of stuff. Not only that, you have another one, just in case you need a little extra space. And now take a look at this grand kitchen. gosh this is incredible so we have granite countertops all over the place there's another uh, dining space right there and look at this this beautiful granite countertop all through here and not only that a viking stove and oven that is the top of the line viking wolf all those appliances are top of the line stuff like this is upwards of 30 40 thousand dollars right here it's a very nice stove, it's a six burner, more of the granite countertops. This house is so nice to be sitting like this and to be demolished. Check out the islands too. We even have a trash compactor, dishwasher, another dishwasher, two fridges, and these fridges are on both sides of this doorway right here. Fridge is empty, but there's power, so that's cool. And then on your secondary island, check it out. You have a wine cooler right here, all your stuff, throughout it's this is just incredible so right here like i said this is another dining space and check it out this is such a cool feature of this house they probably would have had a big round table right here kind of fits this whole round roundness of this room doors just standing wide open letting all the elements in i think they had an estate sale here a few years ago before it actually went abandoned and this place is just going to be torn down to build cookie cutter houses and things like that. But let's take a look at this. You see this? Two massive, I'm talking like huge islands here. This island has four pillars on it too and a sink. Nice sink over here too. All the cabinet space that you could ever want in a house, it's just all here. In the island, in there, right here, right there, it's everywhere. But that leads us into the grand living room. So. This is the main living space of the home. And look at that ceiling. Now guys, that is so Italian and I love it. It is a coffered ceiling with artwork in every single slot. It makes it look so pretty. And this is such a large, large grand room. This room alone is probably bigger than my house, my whole house, like this room alone. <laughs> Like this, this mansion is giant. You got a big window to see outside. It's actually not a door, which is surprising. It's not a door that leads outside. You got a door on this side and that side, but they have a big giant window here to go outside to the backyard. This looks like it could be some sort of entertainment space. It's really nice. It's like all these cabinets up here, probably for like your electronic stuff, movies and whatnot. Even if they did watch movies, some families don't have TVs in their house. But check it out, this home is just so grand and so huge, and I love it. This fireplace is even really nice too. It looks like it's stone. Yeah, it's stone. That's incredible. 
Wow. Such a big home we have here. I love the little arches that are even in the kitchen. Like it's just the little details that matter on houses like this. We have a door. Oh, okay, this actually leads down to the basement. So we'll check that out here in a little bit. But first I'm gonna take you down this way. I'm really curious to see what could be down here. And guys, just as I suspected, there is an elevator in this house. This is an elevator. You can see, here's the button for it. Doesn't work, but having an elevator in a house is super cool. Wonder if we can find where it is and actually open it. That would be nice. Looks like a big open space here. Not really sure what it went there. Probably some sort of like dresser or like uh, shelving for knickknacks, books or whatever, whatever you want to put there. The hardwood floor actually changes to just kind of a normal pattern, just straight all throughout, but still have a lot to see. There's a secondary staircase right here. It's still pretty nice itself. It's got the white railing and the brown railing, still in very good condition. And I think this is our first bathroom. Now I read online that this was 11 bathrooms, so we're gonna see how true that is. Look at this. Sink is super nice. Got the sconces here too. And then there is a toilet directly behind here. And this is just our first bathroom. We're gonna save going upstairs for a minute. Let's see what else is over on this way. So it looks like we got pocket doors right here that leads into this room, but we do have a door right here. Another way to get down to the basement. Probably gonna be several ways to get down there. But we're gonna check out this room. Could be, could be the master bedroom, maybe? But I'm thinking maybe not at the same time. It's hard to tell. There's two different slots in the walls here with uh, lights going on. So maybe if they displayed something, you can actually see that there is damage in this house. Leaves are coming in. So maybe one of these windows did get busted. We got coffered ceiling in here too. There's more of these like openings right here. That's why it's giving, not really giving off a, a bedroom vibe. Could be like a game room or something like that, but this is beautiful. Like, and this is on both sides. Again, with that smudged kind of wall and this wood floor in here is like a whole lot different. It's not like stained or anything. So it's just, you know, it is what it is. Another opening, really use, use the arches a lot through this place. And there's an intercom system. You can see there's the speaker right there all through this place. So this had to be some sort of maybe entertainment room. I don't think it's a master. I believe the master is probably gonna be upstairs. But again, we got a huge room here with a beautiful coffered ceiling. And the French doors that lead directly outside, three sets of them to be at that. So if we turn right, we get to our washroom. Still has the washer and dryer left in here. Wonder if it has anything else. Doesn't look like it. Sometimes they leave behind their, uh, their stuff for that, but this is like concrete actually. They have a nice concrete countertop here for this. And this is where you do all your laundry and everything like that. So, you know, you guys know exactly what this room was used for. And then if we turn right here, this is gonna take us to the garage. There's like some storage space all along the way to the garage. The garage is a three car. And I wanna point out something that the guy that used to own this owned Lamborghinis and stuff. You can imagine there was probably Lamborghinis parked in here. Like I'm standing where a Lamborghini was probably parked. Big three car garage though, super nice. Probably had all this like piled up with whole different kinds of stuff. Let's go back and go around the other way. I wanna point out there's high ceilings throughout the whole place. You guys tell me down in the comments what you think of this house so far. This is one of the bigger houses that we've done this whole year. And it's one of the bigger houses we've done on the channel and period. 20,000 square foot houses are hard to come by when they're abandoned. So always nice to see them. But let's keep going. Let's go to the other side of the house now. We still have so much to see. And I'm just so overwhelmed a little bit because this place is so big. We're coming through a doorway. We're gonna have another entry with pocket doors here. This could have been a guest bedroom. I wanna say it's really blue in here, which is nice that they kind of left that style of, of the South. Maybe they do have a pink room. That would be really cool. But I can see a bed going right up here, TV going right there. This would be an amazing bedroom to have. It's just super nice. You got the fireplace, outlet in the wall there, all the shelving that's built in, these nice windows with these more modern shutters, herringbone floor going through here. Can you imagine being a kid and this being what your bedroom looks like? 
That would be incredible. Even the ceiling is blue. Like if I was a kid and this was my bedroom, this would be absolutely incredible. I would have it decked out. So much you can just do with it. You can put all kinds of knickknacks and things on these shelves, books, whatever you want. I love the flooring too. Seeing herringbone flooring is just so interesting because it just gives such a, a different kind of vibe to a house. We're gonna keep going down. And if we take a look to our left, it looks like we have another bedroom. Now this bedroom is kind of different. There's, the floors are actually black in here. That's super cool. I've never seen a room with black floors before. That's interesting. Wow. This room is kind of more like a purplish, purplish gray color in this room. So the colors really go together all, all through the place. And I really, I really like that. This would have been like more entertainment. Looks like maybe a little TV would have went here. And you guys gotta remember this place was built in 1995, but it was occupied until 2022. So there's no telling what could have been there, but that looks like there would have been a box TV or some sort of thing there. But yeah, this is one of the guest bedrooms. This one is a little more outdated than the rest. And this bedroom actually has its own bathroom, which is quite the bathroom. You see that nice porthole window right there, toilet and a nice shower. Still got the Pantene shampoo and conditioner left behind. Beautiful shower too. And this, and this bathroom is kind of like pinkish in a way. Now guys, what do you guys think we should go next? Should we go upstairs? Should we go to the basement? What do you think we should do? I'm going to say, let's go upstairs and say the basement for last. Cause typically the basement might have like a theater or something in it. Usually it's how it is in these big mansions. So let's go upstairs first and let's see what that's like. But first let's roll a montage of this beautiful downstairs. So we're gonna make our way up these beautiful stairs. This is something I always like to see in houses because what I would do with this is I'd put a cool like funky statue there. I'm really into funky things like funky decor, uh, statues, things like that, like kind of gaudy stuff is what I'm into. There's a lot of things I feel like I could do with a mansion like this. So we have two ways. We have a hallway right here and we have a room right here. So I think we'll go straight into this room and we'll see what's in there. When we walk through, Wow, big room, chandelier. This, guys, is the master bedroom of this mansion. Now check it out, herringbone flooring. And I wanna point out this amazing chandelier. Look at that. It's flipping mermaids <laughs> holding the lights. That's insane. Wow, and it's gold like brass and everything. That's crazy. They got the fireplace in here. The biggest one yet, even bigger than downstairs. And it looks like this might have been entrance to a balcony. Yep, it is. So this would have been a balcony right here, but they had it boarded. Yeah, all this little shelving through here. Another room that goes back here that looks insane. It's blue. This is just your master bedroom. It's, it's incredible. Like, I'm just blown away by this master bedroom. More shelving on that side, herringbone flooring, like I said. Now let's take a look through here, what could this be? This is a blue room and oh my goodness. This is one of the bluest rooms I've ever seen, ever. Look at that, they got the blue and orange, different tones of blue too. That's crazy. And then the ceiling itself, the design of it, really gives me something like Italy, you know, but this is a modern mansion. This is incredible. Check that out. Another chandelier in here. This looks like more balconies. You have more balconies on this side. The hardwood floor is like old style. It's huge, big slats of wood. It's not like uh, got a polish on it. It's just kind of matte, you know what I mean? And then they got this big blue wall. I wonder what they did in here. This could have had artwork in it. This could have been like just a, maybe a calming room. Like they could have just used this to be calm, like have calming time, you know what I mean? Because blue is a really calming color. This is one insane looking room. And now I saw over here the master bathroom and it looks crazy. Oh my gosh, look at the tub. You got a big jetted tub with a fireplace? That's the first time I've seen that. 
First time I've ever seen a fireplace with a tub. Pretty insane. Chandelier hanging above it. Some glass shelving there. All of this. And look at this, there's even like little openings in here for your toothpaste and medicine and whatnot. But it's only on this side, there's only that one. And then you have all the space down there. Marble flooring throughout. Big shower. And it has, it has two heads. I thought it might have a rainfall, but it's only two heads right there. So you could take a shower with your wife or husband, whatever, you know? Big shower too. You got more areas. So maybe like one side was hers, one side was his. I would say that side's his and this side is hers. This has like a little place to do makeup and whatnot. If she was doing makeup, it's like a little desk, a little vanity. Such a cool space. This is one incredible home. This goes to your toilet. Surprised there's not a bidet in here. Really surprising. Typically you see a bidet. And now I think we're entering one of the closets. So this might have been like a secondary closet because I already know what the big closet looks like and you guys are in for a treat with that. The big closet is as big as any master bedroom, bathroom, everything combined. So this probably held shoes, everything like that, purses, whatnot. I mean, this is super, super nice. I mean, this closet is as big as a bedroom and this is just the secondary one. So can you only imagine what the main one looks like? So we're gonna go back here and we have to go up these steps. And this actually leads us to the main closet. Let's so check it out. Wow. Oh my gosh, this closet is huge. This is the biggest closet I've ever seen in an abandoned house. Look at this. And you have all this like, this is a corset. I wonder why our corsets left. This is another corset. That's crazy. Nightgowns left behind. Vanity right here, like a desk. This probably held like all their watches there. Like see, this is like, this is a jewelry drawer right here because it has this velvet lining in it. So they probably had their, all their jewelry in these top drawers. Like see, this even has like that in it. And check it out. If we actually look in here, it looks like there's little diamonds. Looks like there's little diamonds that fell out in here. And this probably held watches. Check it out, look. Little red beads, probably not real, but would be cool. And this definitely held shoes, purses, everything you can imagine in here. This is the biggest closet I've ever seen in my whole life. Left a lot of like weird stuff. Like I wonder if these are real diamonds left in here. Probably not. Probably held watches and everything in these drawers. Like they even had these dividers for certain different different pieces of jewelry. Closet even comes around to this side. As you can see, this is insane. Even got like more little slots right there for some reason. I don't really know what that's used for. This closet is bigger, is, is probably a 1500 square foot closet. No, that's, that's, a bit, that's a bit exaggerated, but it's probably 900 square feet closet. This is a big closet. Wow, so much natural light coming in here too. Now guys, what do you think of that closet? Because that is the biggest closet I've ever seen ever. And we're just like here. That's so crazy. Like we're just in this abandoned mansion. That's so wild. And this place is gonna be torn down. Like what the heck? I don't understand. I'm glad we're getting to see it before it's gone forever. I didn't notice right here when I walked by, but there's like more space before you get to the bathroom. Right here, it's more like little cabinet space here. Walk back out, have a look. The grand foyer again. And then we have a hallway here. And as you can see, some of the lights are actually on, which is kind of typical. I actually see that happen quite a bit. So if we come down, there's a room directly to my left. It smells kind of funky back here. As you can see, the ceiling has actually started to cave. So the ceiling has fallen in completely right there. Not completely, but you know, you know what I mean. Started to cave in already. Got this round carpet through this bedroom. And this looks like to be some sort of like get ready area. Probably was used as a closet as well, but there's like a whole desk here and everything. What do you think, man? Bro, have you been over here yet? Yeah. To the blue room? Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. Then we have a bathroom here. This room has its own bathroom. It's all white, super white bathroom. Got the toilet over there, nice sink. Got the dragonflies actually in the tiles right there and more kind of like wildlife in the tub. But this is just one of the bedrooms upstairs, so that's pretty cool. Really large. Again, one way bigger than my bedroom in my house. And this is another little closet space. Walk around, check it out. Another 
pretty large bedroom, probably for the kids. Or they could have used these for other things too. But here's another bathroom. Like I said, I heard this place has a lot of bathrooms. So this bedroom just has hardwood floor, kind of yellowish beige in here. Got a couple sconces in the wall over there, the lights. It's a, it's a pretty nice bedroom. Again, large size. In any typical house, this would be bigger than a master bedroom. And this is just a kid's bedroom. We're gonna see our elevator again. Can't open it, it's probably in the basement right now. So I'll have to see that here in a minute. Another washer and dryer, but that's not like uncommon to see multiple wash areas in a house. This is your staircase, your secondary staircase that we saw a little bit ago. And then we come into the secondary primary suite, large bedroom again. This might have not even been used as a bedroom. It does not give off bedroom vibes. This gives off more entertainment. Um, there's like shelving all here. There's no really place for a bed I see in here. So I don't think this was actually used as a bedroom. In this, you can like pull this up and have storage right in there. And that's actually on both sides of this. So, yeah. So I wonder what this room was used for, but I can't tell. It definitely was not used as a bedroom. So I guess we'll leave it as a mystery, guys, unless you have any ideas. But we come around and we have actually another bathroom. So quite a few bathrooms already that we've seen. Plenty of places to go, as you can tell. <laughs> what a beautiful house. Bathroom's a little bit smaller, but still it's a room with a bathroom. And this is what looks to be like what would have been the closet if this was used as a bedroom. Oh no, wait. This room gets huge. What is this? What the heck? What? At least like this unfinished, like giant room back here. And there's like your HVAC stuff. What the heck? This room is totally unfinished, but like what was it used for? Or what was it going to be used for? It was kind of just hidden back here. Another little space. That's strange. What are you guys thinking on this? I just randomly saw like a little opening here. I think this was like supposed to be some sort of secret room right here. Maybe not because there's a door frame, but that's cool. It actually leads all the way down here. There's a hallway. It goes to nowhere. Huh. That's interesting. It's very interesting indeed. So I think we got another thing right over here. I saw these, there's more stairs that go up. So we have to go up there and see what's up. I see a skylight. Let's check it out. It gets really small up here. Like these doors are tiny. It actually goes to the attic. And yeah, it's much more smaller down here or up here. All carpeted. This is huge. You got a huge room. Wow. Huge room back here. HVAC, another bathroom. So we've seen so many bathrooms in this place. And that goes to your HVAC right there. So this is like, just like extra stuff up here. Super interesting. All right, let's head back down. Time to see the basement. I'm ready to show you guys this. Alex says it's amazing. So let's head on down there and let's see. But first, you know what we gotta do? We gotta roll the montage of this beautiful upstairs. So let's see it. Time to head down to the basement, guys. Let's see what's left down here. Already, it's looking kind of interesting. Is this a bar? Yo, that's sick. It's like this wraparound bar. This all had to be like entertainment space down here. It's dusty and whatnot. 
two fireplaces down here, I think. There's one right here, and I think there's another one somewhere else, but look at this, this is like black granite. Absolutely amazing. There's actually a bottle of Crown Black with a light on it. And then you have this amazing, amazing bar here. Wow, pillars in here. This had to have been so, like, such an entertainment space. There had to have been like games and all kinds of stuff down here. This is absolutely incredible. There's doors though, there's so many doors that we gotta see. This is actually one of the secondary staircases that leads down here, and as you can see, there's a lot of mirrors. Whoa. <laughs> what the heck? There's just mirrors all that, everywhere. Mirror here. All these walls are covered in mirrors. Wow, what the heck? You have a shower down here, but the shower is like weird because it's so open to everything. There's like, if somebody came down here like you're seeing somebody shower, it's kind of weird. <laughs> and then check it out. We actually have a sauna in this house. A sauna. Wow. That's a really nice sauna too. Still got the coals and everything left behind. Probably still works, but we're not gonna get in there because that would be hot. It's already humid as it is. This leads right around into an area with a sink. Again, they got the black granite down here. And this door opens up to this. There's so many just doors everywhere. I wonder where everything like is. <laughs> Another door. This is just so much HVAC everywhere. So we got a sauna, we got a bar, we got a mirror maze over there, a shower. Every, this is like such a crazy house. There's a door right here. This is actually the elevator. Not on so we can't actually see the elevator because all the doors are locked to us. So there must be some way that we have to like work it for it to come on, but it could just be out of commission. So, but here's a whole nother section down here. This part actually has the power on. There's all your water heaters through this and, a, and just more rooms. Another big open room right here. And check out this bathroom, guys. Wow, another giant jetted tub. This one's actually bigger than the one in the master bedroom upstairs. Another nice shower. All these doors, so, so there is actually a bidet in here. It's interesting, there's there. but there's not one in the master bedroom. That's so weird. Yeah, usually they have separate bidets instead of the built-in ones. I don't like the separate ones because you have to like hover over it. <laughs> so if we keep walking this way through this room, it looks like maybe it wraps around to something else or it could be a closet. So let's just see. No, yeah, it's just the HVAC stuff. What is this? This room is moldy. Oh, this? Yeah, this, yeah, this room's moldy. Guys, that is the end of today's exploration. We just explored a massive abandoned mega mansion. And safe to say, this one is absolutely amazing. We're hitting some crazy stuff this year. And I'm excited I got to show you guys this. Excited that Alex and Posey and Justin got to come along and that we're getting to see such cool things on this trip. Um, I'm super excited that I got to show you guys this. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, comment down below your favorite part. Subscribe if you're not already and come back every single week or bi-weekly. Sometimes I do either or. And uh, turn on that notification bell to see whenever I upload. Guys, thank you for watching. And until next time, Big Banks out.